Hello, my name is H.A. Pruitt and I'm the author of Anna Thalian. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about a story, not quite a book review, but a story on a blog of an author that I've come to enjoy. And so I want to say that supporting independent authors is very important because unlike traditionally published authors, independent authors don't have that publicist and the publishing team and the agents and everybody just making sure their book is out there and known. Independent authors very often only have themselves to rely on to spread the word about their writing. And so today I'm going to talk about Chip and the Book of Rose Leaves by Alexandria Miracola. This um, serial, it's not a book, it's a serial, um, a series of installments on Alexandria's blog on her website. Her website is www.2125books.org. So you go to her website and you look through what she's written on her blog. You'll see book reviews and you'll also see 11 installments of Chip and the Book of Rose Leaves. So the story of Chip and the Book of Rose Leaves is about Chip, a rabbit. I have my cute, adorable animal because I don't have a rabbit. I have a cute, adorable guinea pig. But her story is just full of adorable, cute, witty, enchanting animals. And the, the story... It's about a very curious rabbit named Chip, and Chip is waiting for something. And when he hears a way to possibly discover what he's waiting for, he goes on an exciting, magical adventure. And along the way, he meets new friends, he sees wondrous sights, and he ends up with even more questions than he started with. I haven't made it to the end because, as far as I can tell, um, the end is not up on her blog yet. She's still in the process of writing it. So I can't say how the story ends and I probably shouldn't anyway, but so far it is a wondrous, exciting, magical, enchanting, and witty story. It is definitely a story that kids could learn from, but it's also one adults can learn from. This story includes some spiritual insights, especially spiritual insights revolving around prayer and unanswered prayers and if God hears our prayers. So if you have kids wanting to learn about prayer or if you're an adult and you want a wonderful story that teaches you about prayer, go and find this story, Chip and the Book of Rose Leaves, on Alexandria Miracola's website. Um, again, her website is 2125books.org. If you go to her website, you can see the adorable illustrations she has done for Chip and the Book of Rose Leaves. She also posts those on Instagram and Facebook. I will put below where you can find her, her website, her Instagram, and her Facebook. This is Alexandria Miracola's website, 2125books.org, and you can see she has some book reviews on here. And then if you scroll down, here is the 11th installment of Chip and the Book of Rose Leaves. So there's one of her cute little illustrations and just keep scrolling down to find the earlier installments. You can follow Alexandria on her blog 2125books.org or you can follow her on Facebook, Goodreads, or Instagram. So that is how you can find Alexandria Miracola on different social media. Please go read her story. It's adorable like Marco. And um, if you have any independent authors that you know about, please put them in the comments so I can read their work and so other people can know that they exist and are out there. Support independent authors, please. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Can you say bye? No, you're done. Bye. Hi, if you want to know more about Anna Thalian, please follow me on Instagram, um, check out my Facebook page, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, or visit my website at hapruitt.com. Thanks for watching!